All right, Avery, here's a look at one of your runs from this past weekend. We call this our baseline, sort of our, our first video of the year that we get to compare against others later in the year and see all those improvements. Let's check you out. Some good skiing. I like it. A couple things to think about. Um, but you're on a steep, and I don't know if it's just a little bit, you know, we'll call it defensive, but we got a pretty wide stance. It gets narrower on the flat, so we got to narrow the stance. F steeps or flats, we got to narrow the stance. It helps us get to the outside ski, it's really hard with a big wide stance, A, to roll both skis up on edge, pretty hard there. Um, so what do you do? You kind of cheat and a little bit of a scissor, a little bit of a V going on there, because kind of hard to roll them both up with that wide of a stance. So the wide stance, you know, is going to make us two footed weight on both feet and hard to roll the skis up on edge. So so narrow the stance a bit. Keep a consistent width of the skis all the time. And we do want to roll up those skis a little bit more at the top of the turn using ankles and knees as we talked about pretty much all day Sunday. Because um, if you rolled them up, both, particularly the inside one, you wouldn't be able to have that little divergence, that V, scissoring, etc. So we're kind of cheating on the inside, kind of starting that turn on the inside ski. But if you rolled it up, if you have them both, if you took both knees and moved them this way, that other ski, the inside ski, you know, would be still over here. They would both then, you know, arc out and back around under you. All right, so you got to trust your skis and your ability to let them go out there. Because you kind of see you're, you're getting them up on edge, more the outside one, but kind of by dumping the hip in a little bit. Hip came in. We don't really see much of the knee. We'd rather see that knee driving in this way. So we got to edge our skis from the snow up, ankles and knees first, and both of them. Again, we see the inside one's a lot flatter, right, than the outside. Ankles and knees first, and then we move the hip in as speeds get higher. But we don't see much going on of the, uh, the knee going in here this way, and the hip kind of drops in. You got a pole plant, it's nice. Sometimes we pop up a little too much in the transition right there, too tall. Never want to go move forward, not up in the transition. It's a nice turn shape. Generally speaking, we're carving turns. We just make them a lot better if we rolled them both up and stood more on the outside ski. And if we got a little more on the front of the boot with some ankle flexion, you can see here, we talked about a lot this past uh, Sunday where we had, we wanted our shins to be like this matching angles and it should kind of match the same angle of our back. 
The back's kind of there, but the shins aren't. All right, because yours are, yours are going like that. All right, so we got to think, you know, knees to the skis, drive them forward, pressing against the front of that boot. Better width down here, all right, and more consistent. Which makes sense to be on the flat, more comfortable, a little narrow stance, but we gotta work that narrow, narrower stance. Just a nice, comfortable hip width stance, right like that, perfect. Great looking job, both skis rolled up there. That's a great job, great looking turn. Good scan, and looking forward, Avery, to a fun year.